Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you a simple setup uh, that's basically using uh, geometry nodes, curve fillet nodes. So what this node does is basically generating like a like a round rounded corner for a sharp curve. So if I if I actually zero this out, you can see this is the curve that's being generated um, from Sverchok over here. Okay, but the curve fillet, it comes with two flavor, the Bezier one with control over the radius, and then the poly, polygon one in which you have more control over the corner and the radius. And the radius also have this neat uh, limit radius. If you turn it off, uh, normally you get like a kind of like a Batman kind of shapes like really weird um, really weird edge but anyway you probably want to have that limit radius turn on and yeah just the radius control so you can control the rounding of sharp corner of curve so let me explain what's going on here in this case it's just spare chalk generating random vector I have like 12 I can increase the number or decrease it I think in this case we, we creating like an abstract setup and we have these uh, randomizations also and then I use UV connection to connect the dots and the output is the, just a polygon curve and I turn on cyclic just for the effects so it's kind of neat to be able to do this you can randomize the seed and if there are like kind of touching we just move it slightly okay so and the output of this is a curve of course just a simple curve which in which I apply geometry nodes and I'm using curve fillet to do the rounding so it's looking really nice and then we have curve to mesh and this circle for the radius if I'm not wrong, we can also, because this is using sphere chop, we can use random number, plug into the radius here. So this on top of what we have, we can have random uh, radius. So it's really weird, right? Uh, it's almost like sphere chop is made for Blender, like uh, geometry nodes. On top of this, if you, if you really want, you can even use like a vector interpolations vector interpolations and use range of number this can interpolate between 0 and 1 so you can increase the number of interpolations using this count and then you can now have more randomizations along the way almost like generating like a thickness different thickness Yeah, maybe it's generating weird looking pipe maybe the maybe this line needs to be need to be normalized but anyway let's not over complicate things so yeah if you want just to do it inside uh, geometry nodes without sphere chalk you can Take a look at curve primitives and take a look at uh, which one you can use. For example, you can use star. So star shapes is sharp by default. So it's generating like a star shapes, of course. And then we can control the radius here with a curve to mesh. With a curve fillet, curve fillet we can round it. We can make it rounded. <clears throat> like a flower so it's kind of nice to be able to do this you have control over the points inner inner radius outer radius and of course this uh, oh yeah I forgot we have control over the radius here and 
the count. Look, the base here give different result. This is without. So this is with. Okay, so we have like a gear kind of shape. Pretty neat. So if you use this actually with curve fillet, star curve fillet, you can use another one which is curve fill. But maybe I should I should save this for different life noting. But just to show you anyway, you can do this. And okay, solidify doesn't work. I don't know. I, maybe it's a. Uh, we need to convert it into mesh in order to solidify. Or yeah, I think we need we need to use a different ways to do that. So that's the star. If we want to go back to okay, sphere chop one. This is actually quite nice. Actually, yeah, it's a. Uh, Somehow it's translating the curve into <clears throat> into two D, <clears throat> and yeah, it's it tries to generate a shape anyway, even though it's like really weird. So from random vector randomized, it's generating a shape based on the curve field. I think that's supposed to be for the next video. So let's get back to this. I have another example, uh, so let's keep this simple for now. Okay, so we have this. We can use also Hilbert, Hilbert 3D, or, Hil or Hilbert 2D, and try try this. So Hilbert is generating this kind of shape. And let's turn off cyclic. Oh, actually, it's better with cyclic. Maybe this should be nerve or poly. And I'm not sure what's wrong with that over there. But in basically it's generating like this this kind of uh, pipe shape. That shouldn't happen, by the way. I have another example uh, with fillet. Okay, yeah. This is using Hilbert, exactly exactly the same thing without that issue. In this case, with Hilbert, I also use vector interpolations. And here I'm generating, I'm interpolating the, the Hilbert lines into multiple points. So I can have like a, as less as, you know, like a simple, a couple of points or I just increase it until the points is being generated every certain distance for the Hilbert and then I'm using the random radius without the random radius is it it simply become just like this you know like a pipe with the same radius I use random plug into this we get something that's totally abstract like that and also we have control. The curve fillet is doing something with every corner of the curves. So without curve fillet, with curve fillet. Limit the radius and we have something that's a little bit nicer. And I'm, I'm assigning this in, uh, with a material with, that's a little bit reflective. So it's uh, looking really nice. So yeah, that's uh, basically curve fillet. <laughs> Nothing really complicated here. It's just a, a rounding of curve. I just make it a little bit more sophisticated with just simple sphere chalk setup. 
Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.